Hello. Thank you for joining us for the final part of the JTAG Live introduction. In this session, we will take a look at the Script Module, a powerful system for developing boundary scan cluster tests and device programming applications. As with other JTAG Live modules, Script can be ordered from www.jtaglive.com forward slash products. Script comprises a complete Python API and includes high-level boundary scan routines for controlling individual device pins or groups of pins defined as variables. You can use Script in two distinct ways, as we now hope to demonstrate. Firstly, we can use the routines directly within a main source code program. A simple example might be to create a program to toggle a specific pin, which in turn illuminates an LED and makes it flash. Here, we have chosen a pin from a lattice CPLD D600, pin 74. This drives a dot or period marker on the LED display of our target. You can also see that we've created a simple 4 next loop and introduced some time delays to make it easier to watch the LED flashing. If I click here to execute this code and switch to a video of the PCB, we can see the board switch from normal functional mode boundary scan test mode and observe the LED flashing. The second way to use script is by making portable code modules which can test a single device or group of devices. The code modules can be saved and reused from one project to the next saving test development time in the process. In this example, we will use a pre-written Python module to exercise the flash memory device on the PCB. A simple way to do this is to read the embedded identity code of the chip, which can then be printed in the console window below. In the clusters column here, you will now notice we have introduced a device reference D301 and assigned it to a pre-written Python module for the 29F010 flash device type. We can view the source code for this module by right-clicking and selecting View Cluster Source. Within this code, you will see some of the script boundary scan routines, such as Declare Group, which we've used here to declare the address bus, and Input Group, which is used to define a write cycle. To select a function from this module, simply click on the Functions Expand, Scroll down to Read Device ID, copy to clipboard, and then paste into the main code window. Scrolling down the code window, you'll see a print statement here with the Read Device ID function already embedded in it. Pressing the arrow key will allow us to run this module, and in the console window below, we should see the results. There you can now see the binary result of the ID code read back from the flash device. Thank you for allowing us to show you the small demonstration of the JTAG Live script module. We hope that you've learned something about the JTAG Live products and we hope that you will visit our website www.jtaglive.com very soon. Thank you for your attention.